so, so there's a few challenges facing Star. Um, there's really three of them. So first, regulation in uh, New South Wales and Queensland, Queensland. The casino regulators in each of those states has found Star unsuitable to hold a casino license. Um, and they've also got a fine, uh, a, a fine from Oztrack, which appears likely. Uh, secondly, uh, you've got uh, increased casino levies in New South Wales uh, proposed by the current government, uh, which looks set to hit Star at about or a bit over $100 million a year from 2024. And then thirdly, you've got competition. So Crown Sydney has opened up in uh, August last year. And uh, that's um, that's uh, competing with uh, Sydney, uh, Star Sydney, which is the vast majority of Star's earnings is in the Sydney casino. Yeah, we do. So on the on the regulatory side of things, there's there's increased costs coming here. So um, in order to prove suitability, Star is needed to bolster its um, bolster its particularly its compliance team. It's going to report additional costs of about twenty million dollars. That's $40 million for the whole year. About half of those are going to be recurring. And there's also been uh, so operational changes as well. So uh, increased number of excluded pat- um, patrons and uh, a reduced level of complimentary services in private rooms is, is also weighing on their revenue at Star Sydney. But we do think Star will eventually prove suitability in both Sydney and uh, in its Queensland casinos and ultimately maintain its casino licences. We think that this... This increased uncertainty in New South Wales and Queensland does mean investors should require a greater margin of safety. Um, but at current depressed prices, we think Star presents a good opportunity for uh, for investors to capitalise on pessimism, which we think has become overblown. Any advice in this video is general advice or regulated financial advice under New Zealand law prepared by Morningstar Australasia Proprietary Limited and or Morningstar Research Limited without reference to your financial objectives, situation or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest. To obtain advice for your own situation, contact a financial advisor.